Look at the ice cream. It's homemade ice cream. That's the homemade pie. This one. What's this? Um, coconut pie. Coconut pie. Yeah, the first the first time I was here, I tried the apple pie, which is really really good, and then they recommended the coconut pie. This is Eddie's log cabin. Mm. Honestly, when I had, when I first, the first time I had this, wow. it's the best pie I ever had. I'm not sure if the ice cream is homemade or not, but uh, I know the pie is made from scratch. Mm. Very, very good. It's very, here's the ice cream on top. This is like fluffy. It's so good. So right now we're kind of pre-celebrating. Uh, Richie has their CFO, which is right after this. So we just came to eat. And actually on the way here, we stopped by the counselor in Cebu City for uh, just to check for Everly's PSA. But I kind of knew what they're gonna say. They pretty much said, you know, there's nothing they can really do. They told me to email PSA. So everything they told me to do, I already did. So anyways, just got a little update with it. And I did kind of ask them what the timeline was, and they said, you know, probably two to three months. So getting to America in July looks like it's not going to happen. But, but we're still hoping yeah. for America. Yeah. So we'll see. But right now, that's just the update with that. Right now we're just going to enjoy I'm having the pay, the so pie. Yeah, well make sure you're awake for your little seminar. Because it says two to f until four, two p.m. Yeah. until four. Wow. And I don't know if it's a group class that you're gonna do with the group or by yourself. Yeah. Is there a final interview or something? <laughs> I didn't. Mm. It's just like a I think seminar. It's, seminar. This thing is mainly for something. If you have any questions, mm. I don't think it's fail or pass really. I mean, unless they get, you give off red flags or something, but this is this is the actual final step for you. Yeah. But this is so good. This is my first time trying this. It's really good. Have you had pie like this before? No. So pie at all, like this fashion? Yeah, no. I think I tried kasubi, which is coconut pie, similar, but mm -hmm. not like this. Yeah. It's another kind. Of and I'm not just saying it, this is really, I really, I want to make sure I brought Richie here because this is honestly the best pie I've ever had. And it's so good. And the other one pie we tried in the Thai, our friend got that for us, the pie, I don't mm. remember, but that was, that was yummy too. Yeah, that was really and good too. that's different from this, mm. the ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just going to see you enjoy this, Richie. Seminars are after this, so we're just gonna have some kind. Well, actually, they have some food coming too. I got a Reuben and you got a hamburger, right? Reuben, that sounds. It's like a sandwich. sandwich. It sounds. It's a. It's a name. I mean, Reuben. I've heard of people having their first name Reuben. This is so good. Yeah. So if you guys want to check out Eddie's Log Cabin, really good food. All right. So I'm outside of the CFO and Richie is inside. We got here early. Uh, I think we had to register around like 12.30 or 1, something like that. So we came right after we had that uh, pie and came here, she registered. And then um, I'm, not allowed, I'm not allowed to go inside. So anyways, it's 5.30, almost 6 o'clock. There's a brownout and she's still not finished. Even if there was power, she's still not finished with the class. So it's a very long class. And now that there is a brownout, uh, she's not going to be able to get her certificate today. Which isn't a huge deal because we're not in any rush since we're waiting on Everly's uh, passport and, birth and uh, citizenship. So, yeah, so I'm just waiting outside. 
and uh, hopefully soon the power comes back on. The problem is Everly's at home, so we couldn't take her today because it's a, it a long drive. We knew it was going to be a long day, so we got to get back and get to Everly. So uh, right now it's raining, raining and sprinkling. It was coming down very hard. Maybe that's one of the reasons for the brownout, but there's brownouts all the time. It's not always because of the rain. But it actually kind of feels nice right now, so I'm just waiting for uh, Richie. Hopefully it's soon. Uh, but yeah, so that's the little update. We're probably going to drive home in the rain and pitch darkness tonight. So wish us luck. Alright guys, so I found Richie. <laughs> we have good news and a little bad news. <laughs> we got bad news and worse news. <laughs> Which one do you want to hear first? <laughs> oh, the, the lights never came back on. So we do have to come back tomorrow. Yes, because they cannot release the OR. They need There's internet short, connection or something? There's a short circuit, so like brown out. So they can't release the OR, so we need to come back tomorrow. Yeah. And, I, and only me can get that one. Because that's mine. <laughs> 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 that makes sense. So that does kind of stink. We have to bring either your mom has to watch Everly again, mm -hmm. or so. We'll yeah, so that's, Everly, yeah that's, a, that's a long, hard day if we bring Everly. Just, so we'll probably have to make the same trip tomorrow or soon. But right now, we're thinking about possibly getting Everly um, a U.S. or a visa a instead tourist, of like a yeah, tourist visa. Uh, but, you know, we don't know what that all entails. I just emailed them to see if, like, can we just get the U.S. visa? instead of waiting for the U.S. citizenship and U.S. passport. So hopefully it, um, once we get to the USA, we can still continue the process. So once they're finished, they can just email or send us her U.S. passport and U.S. citizenship when we're in the United States. So, because uh, we'll be here for another three months if we're waiting for the U.S. citizenship and U.S. passport forever. I really would like to get home for this summer. So tomorrow we might go, um, I think there's a travel agency, Ayala uh, Mall, and we might just check with them to see what's going on. And I emailed the, the PSA has been really good about emailing and keeping me in the loop. They're emailing in different people. I think so far today, I just got a new email. They emailed another person like higher grade or whatever. And uh, they're really trying to figure out um, every situation. That makes me feel good that I'm included in the emails. So almost every day so far since I emailed them, they've been emailing me to keep me in the loop. But uh, the Manila, uh, Maybe they're more busy, but I haven't heard from them. I emailed them already, I think, seven times in the last two days. <laughs> so maybe they're getting I sick of me. Why. Yeah, I think that's why I answer. Yeah, I think they're getting sick of me, but, you know. So we went to this, the counselor today. Camera, there's maybe it's a little there. rain. So we're, hope, we're hoping to get more answers at the counselor today. But every single thing they told me to do, I've already done it. So there's really nothing more I can do. I asked her, I was like, is there anything more I can do to make this process go faster? And she said, no, you've already done everything. So uh, I think the next step, if I do want to get to the USA soon, is to get her just a regular visa. And then we're just have to worry about the rest. Like, I don't know if uh, once we get to the USA, the visa will expire. Because usually tourist visas are only for like a month or two or something. I don't know. So we're getting the longest visa we possibly can and that's probably gonna be another 20k but you know that's gonna be worth it because I do got to get home and start working making some money uh, YouTube doesn't quite pay you enough to live off of so uh, yeah so we got to get back to the USA so anyway that's update we got to drive home in the dark and it's raining so uh, and then we're gonna come back tomorrow yeah. so any other update how the interview go? wow it was it, it, it feels like I'm doing final interview again like the embassy Really? It feels like because it, there's question, more questions, and yeah. we had like a counseling like that, and like you know, what do we expect in US like that, and some you know, um, negative or like you know because there are like changes in culture for us and many things. Yeah. Well, you can experience what I experience when I go to new countries because sometimes you go to a country. I guess you already did. You went to Vietnam and Thailand, but that they still kind of it's similar. To, it's still Asia. So maybe I'm excited just to see how your culture, your shock is, if there is any shock. 
I don't really get shocked anymore. My first couple times, my first time out of the country, well, my first time was Australia and New Zealand, and that really weren't, wasn't much of a culture shock. The most shock to me was my first time being out alone. And that was kind of a fun shock to me, just because it was exciting. But I think just excitedness, I'm excited for you, just because it's, it's I'm excited too. So I think, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, it's going to be, it's exciting. So I really want to get this going. So yeah. I think we're going to maybe stop by the US visa whatever to see just answer get give them ask, ask some questions and see um if we do get a visa for everly if we can get that going and how soon that would be if it's like you know a couple weeks and yeah i think might as well just do it it doesn't matter what the price really i just want to get that done because i really think waiting on the u.s citizenship and u.s passport is going to be another few months she's, she's still not even in the system mm -hmm. so and even, even after we get that back it's still going to be another few months until they process the visa or the passport so yeah, so I, that's the plan. We still, so we're gonna come back here tomorrow, pick up if they ever get a, their power back. But yeah. usually, usually, it's not longer than a day, hopefully. Yeah. So I guess that's it. We're just gonna drive back. So I guess we'll go say goodbye now. Yeah. Is there anything you see you wanna add? Mm, I just like when the, the last question they asked me. They said, "Are you ready to go to US?" I said, "Yes." <laughs> okay. Go. <laughs> that's cool. Enjoy. That's fun. So hopefully, hopefully, very soon we can go. So, all right, guys, we're gonna make it home. It's pretty much dark now, so we'll see you guys later. Yes. We'll see you guys next bye video. Bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>
Ah, I can. Oh, my bell, big bell. Come on, Lisa. Look at this way. Oh, man. Look at this way. Look at this way. Look at this way. Look at this way. The funny thing is, this used to be my old job. <laughs> I used to work in a movie theater. I used to do this every night after the movie closed. How is the floor? <laughs> a lot of popcorn. <laughs> it was fun. That was pretty cool. We really good quality. Yeah. We didn't finish the last movie because they were sleepy. Everyone was sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun night. Yeah. <laughs> Next time we're gonna try outside. But today we tried inside because it was raining yeah. a little bit. But the sound is good. The first movie was louder. It all depends on the quality of the movie. Yeah. But the first one was loud. <laughs> <laughs> And the second one is nice, or I mean, action, it's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that's a lot of popcorn. <laughs> Easy cleanup though, these floors. Yeah. Dirty floors. Yeah. Yeah. Let's sweep it up. Jelly was snoring. I <laughs> <laughs> think was snoring. <laughs> Yeah.